Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the default shutdown options in the Alt 4 dialog window. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you were to tap the Alt and the F4 keys on your keyboard simultaneously, You notice that the default option in most cases should say shut down and then if you click the drop down you can select a different option on this list. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to change it to a different option as the default one. So we're going to go ahead and select cancel. I don't want to actually shut anything down right now. But in order to change those options we're going to go open up the start menu and type in regedit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back or registry editor. You want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now, before you begin, I would suggest you create a backup of your registry. So, if you need to go back and make any corrections, so if there were any mistakes made, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab and then select export. File name, I would recommend naming it the date that you're making the backup. Export range should be subbed to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just put select file and then import. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to go double click on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Same thing for Windows. Same thing for current version. And now there should be Explore, so go double click on that. And now finally there should be an Advanced folder, pretty close to the top. Just go ahead and left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, it's up at the top of our screen here. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone under up to this point. So now on the right side you want to right click and have a blank area. Select New, and then select DWORD 32-bit value. Now this is very important, you want to type in the name exactly as it appears on my screen. Somebody's going to find a way to mess it up, but again, you want to just type it exactly how it appears on my screen. So type in start, and then underscore, which is basically the shift and the minus key on your keyboard at the same time, so that combination, so the shift and the minus key. So once again, start, and then you want to do a little underscore, power, button, action exactly as it appears on my screen and there's one underscore in between the start and the power so again start underscore power button action first letter of each word should be capitalized here hit enter on your keyboard now you want to go ahead and double click on this value now if you want to set the default option to a different option I'm going to just verbally explain it and it will also be in the description of the video so you want to set base to decimal before you do anything and now for value data I'm just going to verbally say this out loud, but it will also be in the description of the video. If you want to set it to restart, type the value data as 4, the number 4. If you want to make it switch user, you want to type 256. If you want to make the default action sign out, type the number 1. If you want to make the default action sleep, type 16. And if you want to make the default action hibernate, you would set it to 64. So just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to set it to restart, which would be number four. Again, this will be in the description of the video as well. And you would select OK. Again, make sure base is decimal for whatever option you go with here. So select OK. And once you're done know with that, you can close out of the registry editor. You would need to restart your computer in order for this to take effect. So let's just go ahead and actually restart our computer.
And now if you tap the Alt and the F4 key combination, you see our default value has now changed to what I selected, which was the restart option. So very subtle little tip there, guys, but you never know. It might actually help somebody out. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.